having cleaned the wheat, we now have to get it dry enough for long-term storage. One way is to keep it in boxes in a very dry place and stir it every two or three days. And you're just bringing the bottom wheat to the top. An alternative way is to make a drying box using an old fan heater. Just the fan, not the heating element. There's a slot in the bottom for the air to flow out from the fan and use a mesh floor. You can just about see the tissue paper lifting off the wheat as the air is blowing through. Let's make some bread. First we knock up some yeast, spoonful of sugar and 150 ml of warm water. Two level teaspoons dried yeast. Mix it up and cover it with a cloth. So I use 600 grams of flour, two level teaspoons of salt, now the yeast nice and frothy. A bit of a whisk. Put it in there. Another 125 ml of warm water. A teaspoon of oil, vegetable oil. You could use olive oil. That stops the bread from going too dry. Having needed it for about 10 minutes. It's nice and stretchy. Now we put it into a bowl, let, let it ferment for a couple of hours at about 70 Fahrenheit. So now we knock it back and shape it ready to rise again. flour and the baking tray. Now 
going to cover it with a damp cloth for it to rise again, ready to go in the oven. Homegrown buns. That's how I grow my own wheat and bake bread. Mm -hmm.